I think NVIDIA actually has upside just because every time they report, Will, they're uh, blowing through the uh, numbers. And so um, I actually have my favorite AI-related semiconductor pick right now, bar none, because of their position in high bandwidth memory, HBM, is Micron. And then leading into this segment, you talked about Hynix, and Hynix is right there. I'd love to be able to buy Hynix. I just can't. And Samsung is ramping up, even though they were late to the game, this high bandwidth memory for AI applications. But Samsung will be in the mix probably within one to two quarters. But those companies should have a nice run. And I think NVIDIA uh, can go even higher just because the uh, numbers are so explosive. And every time they report their forecast, they're crushing them but to the tune of 20 to 30 percent. So I do think there's some upside in NVIDIA. But my favorite pick right now is Micron. Or if I was in South Korea, it would be Hynix. Let's talk about uh, Micron, SK Hynix, and Samsung as well. And I suppose first I want to start with the, the, the Korean companies because we, we could talk ad nauseum about just the, the heavy discount to perhaps what they should be trading at considering, you know, everyone talks about, you know, the, the, the kimchi discount or the, the, the chai bowl and how yeah. there, there could be some... Uh, issues there, but I won't get. I won't dive into those issues. But realistically, when you've got Samsung, even you know it's just reporting at this stage that they can increase their SSD pricing by 25% on top of the 15% that they already did. Doesn't that also tell investors that memory is back? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, AI applications have a voracious demand for em uh, for memory, particularly the HBM, the high bandwidth memory. Uh, Micron here in the states reported their results just about a week ago. And it was unbelievably rare. And I followed this company since it went public in the 1980s for this company to say that for this particular type of semiconductor, that they are booked for all of 24 and all of 25. Unprecedented. So if that is the good news from Micron, it is uh, Hynix will share it and Samsung will share it too within a couple quarters when they close that uh, technology gap. Okay, on Micron then, right? From what you're suggesting, does that put, though, a ceiling on their share price? Because if we're saying that they're fully booked for 24-25, you would have to then perhaps operate under the assumption that the upside that we've seen already is effectively pricing in that expectation of what they're able to, you know, produce. So is there going to be in the short term or even, you know, the, the medium term more upside for a name like Micron or is it already, already seen what it's going to see? No, I actually think uh, right now the stock's trading at uh, 120 plus. I think at the peak of the cycle where I see the earnings estimates going over the next year or two, I think that stock can go to 200. And so 120 to 130, all the way to uh, 200, still my greatest upside, even including NVIDIA of any uh, semiconductor stock here in the States or abroad.